Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Wolf here with even more Pillars of Eternity. After double checking that we can be... Deceptive, I believe it is. Let us try and infiltrate Lord Raedric's Sanctuary, where the priests of Berath, I believe he's called, are held. Stealthing may not be a good thing because it made us activate a... yeah. They'll see us anyway. Let's just see what we can take as quickly as possible without getting into trouble. Eight mechanics, really? Oh dear. Let's see what the sprawl note says at least. Don't need the alcohol right now. I got your gift. I can't believe someone's actually wrote down that kind of thing on parchment. I left something for you in the chapel. Careful not to go digging in the wrong skull again. Okay. So we'll quick save and see if we can avoid a Templar. We probably can't. We'll probably walk straight into him. I but... can do that. <laughs> yep, there we go. Hold, brother. No one is to leave their post until Radric gives word. Where are you going? Are you thick? Radric just orders to search the rooms. Cossack's men may already be in the keep. Well... Then yes, I'll leave you to it. May Baraf grant your foes a swift passing. This is kind of a room we don't want to be in. Is this the skull that we're talking about? Oh, bloodstone. And the fire shows me something new. Oh, hello. Be discreet. Oh, hello. Sweet musky incense is stored in the boxes under the altar. We found a secret passage. Lay in low. Where does this lead us? Oh, need more. Hi. This frail old piece, piece, priest is hunched over a table surrounded by scattered scrolls and parchment, examining their contents with the aid of a thick monocle. He glances up at you as you approach. More visitors, then? You're not what the acolytes, or the gods for that matter. Which makes you an intruder, at the least. Cosk put you up to this, I suppose. Yes, that would be him, sending young men to dash themselves against the keep's defences. Would that my sermons could draw such fervour. Still, you are here. What do you want? How did you know I came here on, be on behalf of Kolsk? My eyes may be failing me, but my wits have not. Kolsk has recruited what allies he can, and he has begun to strike against the keep in earnest. It has not been long since his latest effort. As I predicted, and as you can see, the attempt was a disaster. Kosko is unwilling to grasp certain truths, nor does he understand what it is that keeps Radric in power. He will need much guidance if he means to take Radric's place. I can only hope he would listen. <laughs> like that. Good thing his predecessor sets low expectations, then. You don't seem to think much of this Kosk fellow. It is not that. I simply disagree with his methods. We have known each other for a long time. I remember, get, remember him as a young lad. It makes all it makes it all the harder to see him act this way. Impulsively, blindly. He and his followers have brought more harm than good. For all his good intentions. But I do not wish him harm. So I find myself caught within their struggle for power. But neither Kosk or Raider can resolve this crisis. They are but mortal men. 
we must turn to Varath. It is a twin god who will bring peace and balance to the souls of Gilded Vale, and it is to Varath that we must pray if we are to see while Raiden's legacy ended. I am actually here to face Raedric. Will you help me? His, his brows knit together. I don't know that I can. I have tried to walk close against his people of the dangers. I have in truth tried often to sway them from their path. My efforts do not seem to have made any difference. Play nice with a fella that wants to kill you and all your friends? Can't imagine why they wouldn't want to listen to that sound advice. Even Pro Gacko. Even though he at least might be saved, but he is Osraya's now, fodder for our experiments. I have narrowly escaped suspicion. Raedric is in the grip of grief and will not be swayed. He will bring his wrath down upon those poor prisoners, and I cannot shoulder that guilt. I cannot bear it. Tell me about M. Gayako. One of my acolytes. I found him begging in the suite when he was but a, but a lad and I took him in. I hoped he might grow within the church, take my place when I grew too old to serve Lord Raedric, but he took an interest in Kulsk's efforts, his vain rebellion. I could not keep him from leaving. And now he has joined Kulsk against our lord, and lingers in the dungeons. I fear may already fallen victim to Ors's evil designs. You mentioned uh, Osraya's experiments. Oriah is a bright young woman, corrupted by the teachings of the Anamanches. She has filled Lord Raedric's head with blasphemous notions and false hope, preying upon his desire to guide his people. Annie has been foolish enough to listen. Raedric has given Osiah leave to conduct what experiment she will. Now in the lowest reaches of the keep are fouled with the smell of rot. Who knows what souls dwell, lamenting in that darkness. Anamancers. Why am I not surprised they're involved in this nonsense? I have, I beg Lord Raedric's forgiveness on my acolyte's behalf, but I think I have only delayed Kiako's fate. He is at Osiah's mercy now. If I save Kiako, will he help me reach Raedric? I could give you the means to enter Raedric's chapel below. It would put you beside his throne room, but I cannot risk it while Kiako is in danger. If you can see him safely out of Sire's reach, I promise you I will do my best to help you. Oh, and this will do you more good than a disguise. We have a passphrase. It is, from every ending a beginning. Say that and the gods here will leave you be. On this floor alone, I'm afraid, Redrick Sellswords have little patience for such thing. Hmm... I will see Gaiaku to safety and then return then. Be cautious, Osaya wields powerful sorceries and she has a fondness for cruel traps. I don't doubt she will be a terrible foe if angered. Gods guide you. So now we have a decision. Do we want to believe in the gods or do we want to believe in the Anamancer? To be honest, if we believe in Os Osraya, she wants to keep Raedric alive. Whereas Needmore is quite happy to place us next to Lord um, Raedric without um, consequences of what may occur when we actually speak to the Lord. Oh, there's something here. Interesting. Let's just raid all these um, books. I'll see what I can find. Ooh, a fine robe. What is Aloth wearing, actually? Oh, well, what is he normally wearing? Leather armor. Hmm. So we can actually put our armor on now, I think. But uh, we won't just yet. We'll. And what does the flame reveal? And another ability. Oh, I 
let's continue exploring Sanctuary then. To be honest, I'd rather kill the Necromancer. Where does this lead? Oh. Hold there, what are you doing? From every ending a beginning. Apologies, Acolyte. Go on your way. To the siege platform. We'll raid this place of everything we can since we've now got leave to be on this level. The threadbare robes in the closet smell I of incense. Oh. Rite of walking shadows. Um, plus three stealth, plus three. Ah, okay. we go through. This was a... Yeah, we couldn't open this door. It was eight mechanics. So, I think we're going to go back to Australia now and tell her the bad news that we aren't going to be doing her uh, dirty work. Just going to close this door behind us. So there's, pl there's probably plenty of things we can explore here in the keep. But obviously we have to be very careful that we're not detected. This is where things can go horribly wrong. Mm. We could leave them both alive. We could just lockpick and let Giyak go out. But then things would probably all go away and awry. Mm -hmm. Let's just quick save again. How fares my newest assistant? I trust you need Mars and poor health. Uh, I could use some rest. And you mean to do it here? Very well, I suppose I can't expect you to defeat the frail old man at anything less than your full strength. Rest then, and show you, I'll show you awake with all your parts intact. Huh, okay. Oh, we can investigate what you have. We actually need to kill you, unfortunately. Sorry about this. <laughs> Time to go! Sorry about this. But at the same time. There we go, we need the key. 
Ricky. Oh, we have another grimoire. Sure. At first you think this poor creature is diseased, for its black fur seems to have fallen off its hide in patches, but when the cat turns to investigate a fly on a wall, you know that an entire section of its ribcage is open to the air. Some of its tail has rotted away altogether to reveal a few jagged vertebrae. It doesn't seem to bother the cat much. The cat much. It lets out a trilling purr and rubs against your shin. Um, let's pet it. You spend a few pleasant moments scratching the cat behind the ears. Black fur comes away in clumps. Uh, let's pick up the cat. You pick up the surprisingly light and unexpectedly pointy creature and it purrs contently in your arms. We have gained a black cat companion. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so we have an undead cat with us now. Adorable, I suppose. How much money have we picked up? A fair um, selection on our on our travels of late. Oh well, our journal has updated. I have killed Aressa, which makes it unlikely she'll assist me in reaching Raedric. Yeah, about that. Probably not. This bruised young man's face is... Oh, this young man's face is badly bruised. And his gaunt form is covered in threadbare shirt. I don't know who you are, but will you help me? Our noble lord at work. He gazes, he gazes nervously past you. I don't think I can find my way out. You must be Gieko. Need me? Needmore sent me to find you. Needmore? The priest sent me. Sent you. I thought. Well, I thought he'd leave me here to rot. He wasn't too happy when I left the keep. I told him I would go. I could do far more good with Kosk than as as our acolyte. I struggle over my words today. He accused me of joining a band of outlaws. I guess we both were wrong. What can you tell me about Needmar? Uh, Needmar's been a father to me. My actual father was a traitor and he died in a bandit raid when I was when I was young. I don't remember him much. I remember the days after. Though stuck here in Gilded Vale, begging for food. Needmar was a priest of the scattered god back then. He took me in and raised me in the church. I was going to follow in his footsteps, even after he converted and we turned to the twin god. But I started seeing what was happening to Gilded Vale, what Raedric was doing, and need more. He just kept on saying that things would work out, that we had to stand by the Lord of the Keep. Kosk was the only one who seemed to be willing to do anything about it, instead of, well, preaching. So that's two fathers I've left behind. I take it you ended up here after assaulting the keep. Yes, it seemed like a good plan. We got in without incident, and I knew the way, but we were surprised in the dungeons, and most of us... Well, you've seen some of them, fought them, their bodies at least. Not their minds anymore, but their souls. The woman down here, Raedric's Anamancer. Her name was Os Osraya. We heard her speaking sometimes, talking about a cure. Lord Raedric calls, her, calls on her often. But she's not curing anyone. She only turned men and women into monsters. I watched her take the others, and I was sure I'd be next. Men and women turned to this evil to cure Hollowborn. Madness. Osraya's dead, by the way. He breathes in sharply, surprised. Good. She she deserved far worse. Maybe with her gone, the people she's changed can pass on, pass on to the next life. I hope so, anyway. Brave of you to take her on, those animancers. You'll never know what they're capable of. Uh, you're free. You can make a, make a run for it. Thank you, stranger. I'll have to get back to the fall, but first some food and rest. I think 
Ten, tell need more. Well, tell him I still had the carving of the pale knight he gave me as a boy, and that I hope he is well. Good luck, and may the gods keep you safe. So, we've dealt with one Anamanso. We met a nicer one hanging from a tree. And now, apparently, we have a way to gain access to Lord um, Raedric. We're still wearing our robes, aren't we? We're not actually wearing our armor. I just realized this fact. Uh, you can tell it's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm bound to make a few mistakes. Let's head back to Needmore and tell him the good news. And then I will actually call it a night, I think. And start afresh in the morning. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Hello there. Yako is safe. He asked me to tell you that he's kept the carving you gave him as a boy. His eyes are widened. With sudden vigour, he rushes towards you to grasp your arm. Oh, thank the gods, thank you. I did not think you could, that is, I feared. I did not want him to meet the pale knight so soon. He pulls away, collecting himself. Here, what I promised in return. He pulls out a large iron key from the pocket of his robe. This will open a door in the Scriptatorium, he points west, and from there you can reach the chapel and Lord Raedric without encountering quite as so many guards. Take this too, I have little wealth to offer, better to give it better to give something of use. I wouldn't treat you before you go. Despite his shortcomings, Lord Raedric follows the gods with obedience, and he has guided Vale's best in guided Gilded Vale's best interests in mind. It may be that with time you can achieve what it desires. Please consider this before you turn to violence. I thought you'd favour Kosk as Lord of Raedric's Hold. I favour him as he is, a man of vision, but Kosk has a hunger in him for rule, even if to good purpose, and he is not led by faith. Still. He is my friend, and I am willing to assist Kolsk in restoring to find favour to the lands of Gilded Vale, should Lord Raedric fall, that is. I need to rest. Of course, of course, I'll bar the door. So we can rest here. I'd rather rest in the priest's quarters, knowing that it's probably going to be fine rather than resting with the Anamancer, and things going horribly wrong. So. We have a key, I'm guessing it's the key to this door here. Ah. As I say, we will end this video here, and when we come back, we will try to get to the chapel and head on on our way to the throne room to confront Lord Raedric, and see where things go from there. One thing I would be interested in doing is actually trying to find his wife, um, and actually discussing the situation with her, because obviously her thoughts on having a child obviously born hollow born would make this rather interesting and it may have another twist in what could happen to conclude this little um, story uh, because even though we may kill lord raedric um i wonder if his wife could possibly inherit but it may not be that kind of culture as well at the same time but it would be something to consider uh, but of course I've I'll leave it here. This is Anfwolf and I hope you've all enjoyed Pillars of Eternity. I hope I haven't annoyed you too much with my rambling and my um, tiredness, I suppose you can say. And when we come back in the next video, I will be more energetic, I'll be more awake. And we'll conclude this little side quest for better or for worse. So, I'll see you all then. Bye bye now.